Hey Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Noragami chapter 91.2. So, last chapter we found out the truth about Yakin uh, from his sister and it's really, really heartbreaking what happened. How um, Yukin was stuck with his abusive father um, and his sister feels like it's her fault, fault for it. And I feel awful for her. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens ultimately when Yukin um, reunites with her and finds out the truth about it. But the thing that's going to be even more interesting is when that huge white orb of light um, we saw in, um, in the mountains comes into play. I can't wait for that. But in the meantime... Um, we are at, um, uh, Uharai, so ooh, let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this month. As Sagusa expands his righteous net, the gods of, um, Takamaga, uh, Takamagahara, uh, welcome, um, the day of, um, Uharai. Uh, yeah, that's right, it's, uh, Uharai. Sorry, gotta get going. Keep an eye on those guys for me, ta um, Take. You're telling me to look after the kid, the old guy, and miss recession all by myself? You gotta be kidding! Why are you pu pushing all the nasty work on me? I'm a god of war, I'll have you know. I do not consent to this. Um, seems Her Majesty wants you to participate in the hunt at, um, Uhare at year's end. I told you, me and a bunch of, uh, um, of other gods of heaven were asked to join Her Majesty on Uhare, didn't I? Yeah, you did say that. And this chapter is titled to do the right thing. So, why do they not call me? Ohare is a, um, is a day where the gods exert their might in a great cleansing of Ayakashi from the far shore. Oh, God, this is not going to, this is, oh, this is going to be very interesting. Um, I'd rather be doing that than search, uh, than searching for the sorcerer's grave. Uh, well, it's because you participated in the covenant. What? I recall no such thing. Twice I spearheaded the subjugation of traitors, after all. No, they counted that as participating. Stop this. Uh, they saw you as a member of the rebel group. Oh, no. Hey, Take, I was there too. I'm still ashamed of myself for not being, an, uh, for being nothing but an onlooker. Um, have some uh, pride in yourself, uh, Takemizu. Um, Takemi Kazuchi. On that day, you, were, you, uh, you lot were more righteous than heaven. Hey, Ibisu, uh, yes? Um, are we using the search for, uh, the grave as a pretext for, uh, trying all the food in the country? What am I looking at here? A once-in-a-lifetime flavor, the wild rice I found in, um, uh, Michinoku. He even sucks at selfies! I have nothing to explain to the person who struck down my past incarnation. Um, uh, we are absolutely putting the sorcerer's head on a pike! Huh? Why did I say something like that to the guy who killed my friend? Honestly. <laughs> Whoops, uh, these are the plaques uh, we all tied at the matchmaking festival. I uh, can't have, um, uh, Okuninushi going around breaking them. May you all have happiness. Aww. So, you really did abandon your brother. That's why you can't bring yourself to read that letter. Yeah, I don't blame her. That's right. Dude. I wonder what you, how you can gonna react to this. These are the letters I sent Haru. I sent to Haru. Why are they here? One day they were all sent back to me at once. I felt a sense of dread when I saw my father's name as the sender. Oh, no! Oh, uh, we didn't have a phone here back then, so I thought I could call Haru from a public phone. But I was afraid of my father being the one to answer, so I sent letters instead. I was certain our father would read them, so they never contained anything particularly noteworthy. Just harmless things in, in the hopes that uh, it wouldn't result in Haru being beaten. I could never write how I really felt, but I have an idea um, uh, now of how much that must have hurt Haru. I really can't wait for this reunion. This reunion is going to be so freaking emotional.
like, just picturing it in my head of how it's going to go down is probably going to be, is, is just making me emotional. It really is. God, I've been crying a lot from manga over the past few weeks. And that's a good thing. When you can get me to cry from manga, that is good. I wouldn't be surprised if Haru was the one who, who tore them up and threw them away. Nope, that was your dad, probably. He probably never forgave me, even now. No. Dude, that was probably your dad that did that. Because your dad is a piece of shit. What probably happened was Haru never got the letters. He, Your dad probably got them and ripped them. Our mother who did nothing, his teacher, his classmates... Um, everyone who pretended they didn't see, we deserve his judgment. Ooh, how can he behave like that in front of a client? See, that's what I'm talking about. You crush under pressure like tofu. What what do we do if people start to notice? This is your job we're talking about. Well, don't talk to her like that. You're making her cry, bitch. Yeah. I'm sorry. What Haru, or, what Haru slash Yukin slash Yagusa is doing... I kind of have to side with him on this. This is called karma. You are getting your karma, man. This is... What he's doing is bringing out your inner feelings, man. That's what he's doing. What did you just call me? It wasn't me. Learn to park. Uh, quit, um... Oh, sorry. Out of the way. You're in my spot. Oh, what happened to my car? Everyone's watching. Even places I overlook, people are filling in the gaps. They say God is watching you, but people are doing just fine uh, watching uh, watching each other. See, and also look at the, um, look at the white. Uh, look how Yukin's hair is wa turning white. I really love what's going on here in this manga. Because the thing is that this manga is touching upon, what Yukin is touching upon, is people have just been on standby. They refuse to do anything. They're too, They're just silent. They're too scared to get involved. And shit, look at me. I do it on social media all the time. Or I've been doing it a lot more. Like, for example, um, I was in um, this asshole's chat room, right? Um, and uh, um, this was a hardcore Trump support, Trump supporting sheep, uh, tinfoil hat sheep Trump room, right? Chat room, right? Um, and uh, they were bullying this libertarian, um, centrist libertarian. And because they didn't agree with them. And I call them out on their bullshit. Because these people are, and I call them, I call these fuckers out when they go into the Riot Live PD chat room as well. When they say stupid shit like this and they shut down speech, um, I call them out. I do. Because these people are supposed to be for freedom of speech, anti-censorship. And when they shut someone's speech down and they're bully and they're basically bullying them, I call them out because they they um complain and bitch about how uh, leftist sheep, how PC pandas are shutting them down and censoring them when they're doing the same fucking thing. And I called them out on it. And guess what happened? I got banned from there because <laughs> I called them out on their bullshit. And when I see it in um, the Right Life PD chat. And this um, person was, uh, that came in um, was a, is a streamer um, in L.A. and is a, um, a transgender streamer. And these motherfuckers were, and these some of these were regulars too in Riot Life PD chat. And they were bullying her. And I was not having that shit. I don't tolerate that shit. Because these some of these fucks have bullied me too. And I don't tolerate that either. And if I can't reason with these sheep, I just block them. I personally just block them. But when I see them do it, because I can handle that shit. Um, but when I see them bullying somebody else, I, I don't and I don't like that at all. It rubs me the wrong way. 
I'll call them out on it. I will. Like, and also these, a lot of these sheep are tinfoil hat sheep, AKA they're conspiracy theorists. And, um, when they're saying like Corona Summit is fake, especially to someone whose, uh, family member died from Corona Sama, that really pisses me off. And I will call them their fucking asses out on it and shut them down and shut them up. I will do it because I don't tolerate that shit. I don't tolerate intellectual dishonesty. And what, um, what, uh, the reason why I bring this up is what you keen is do what you keen is doing is getting people who would not normally speak up and stand up for um, people that are being bullied um, or being abused. They're are just being fucking idiots. They're get, he's getting them to stand up for, um, for the week. And I respect that. I love that this is happening. He's bringing out the beauty in humanity. They won't miss a single fault and will correct what they see as wrong. And what people see as wrong is different for everybody. It is. It's not like cut and dry as, you know, people will see. see because people's um, views are different. Yeah, these people's views are different. Like mine are obviously different because I'm not a sheep. I see, my, I see things for what I believe they are. Yeah. But if, but if you, uh, and I call out hypocrisy, that's what I do. And that's what, and actually that's what Eugene's doing too. He is, he is bringing, he, and he is, um, just bringing out, he, in, in all reality, he is bringing out the, um, the best of humanity and I fucking love it. Let's keep going here. I wish the world had been like this before I died. I wish the world was like this now. Why can't the world be like this now? Pisses me off. You want to try reforming the world, uh, a world then with your divine judgment? No, people pass judgment on each other. Also, don't treat me like I'm, I'm a god. Yes! Yes! Yukeen is my fucking spirit animal. They, I'm going to read this whole thing because this is beautiful. No, people pat, uh, sorry, let me read this again. You want to try reforming the world then with your divine judgment? No, people pass judgment on each other. Also, don't treat me like I'm a god. They never actually punish evildoers after all. Um, uh, after all. Uh, I believe in the righteousness of people more than that of gods. I'll expand my righteousness far and wide. Um, is heaven right or wrong? Agusa knows the answer. They're wrong. They don't realize it yet. Uh, that people are... People are eager to call out those who litter. Um, in winter of all time, in winter of all times, what if there was a fire, but none of them want to be the ones to pick it up? Yes! These calling out the fucking hypocrisy! You see what I mean? These motherfuckers are virtue signalers. He is calling out the, hypocr the hypocrisy. I fucking love this. Um, uh, my uh, my car's been vandalized. The righteous net still has too many holes. Oh God, that righteousness that they're talking about. People want to say they're righteous. They want to say all this shit all the time. And what he's ta what they're being taught, um, what this manga is talking about right now is called out the virtue signaling. Yes, AKA um, do uh, say one thing, do another. And I love it. I love that that uh, Noragami is calling out the virtue signaling. It is just fucking fantastic. And I'm, I know I'm going to be using these manga panels a lot. So how, why will it spread? Looks like enough uh, to smother heaven. Uh, the time for uh, um, Ohari has come. Um, may the hunt for calamity com commence. Next issue, 10 year anniversary color page. I know what's going to be happening now. They're going to be, uh, obviously they're going to be coming after, um, uh, Yukine, but I don't think they should. Well, I think what Yukine is doing is actually right. I think Yukine is in the right. Yukin doesn't want to be... The thing is, Yukin doesn't even want to be a god. 
he's just bringing out what we're all thinking. He is calling out the bullshit. It's called morale. I don't know if morality would be the right thing for this, but he's calling, he's bringing out the hypocrisy. He really is. Like, if you want to make you keen, like the god of morality, go for it. I would be down with that. And look, I. I gotta say, look at Yukeen's hair. I don't, do I think Yukeen is smothering the heavens with this? I love the, by the way, I love this fucking panel. Or fucking, I love this page. We're really in a fucking golden age of manga, especially in terms of art. We're in a, and fuck, even the writing too. Just in general, this is like the renaissance. We're in the manga renaissance. I'm doing a video on this, next, a, a video of this this month. I have to. Because this is really the manga renaissance. This really is. We're in the golden age of manga. This is. This fucking page is beautiful. But... Just look at Yukine. His hair is turning. He's not turning into a yokai. He's not. His hair is turning lighter and lighter. He's. I know Father is trying to smother Heaven. He is. But Yukine doesn't want. Yukine said he's not trying to be a god. He's not. And what Yukine is Yukine causing calamity? No! I don't think Yukine's causing calamity at all. No! I don't think he is, personally. But for, uh, I'm going to bring up the, this right here. Is heaven right or wrong? Hagusa knows the answer. They're wrong. They just don't realize it yet. I think father is wrong on this one. I think he does. I think he is. I think he is. Father's completely wrong in this. He that's his goddamn opinion. No one know I think the no one knows the answer. We don't know the the answer as I said was saying earlier. It's not as simple as father is making it out to be. It's not. It's not everyone cuz as I was again as I was saying, everyone's trying to make it Everyone's trying to make things as sim really simple, like very cut and dry, black and white, uh, light and dark, good and evil. But it's not. And the thing is, is Yukin knows this. Yukin said it earlier. It's n he said it's not that simple. He basically was saying it's not that simple. Um, where is it? Um, I want to see. It's this right here. I want to read this again in particular. Um, no, people pass judgment on each other. Also, don't treat me like a god. They never actually punish evildoers after all. Well, I will disagree with him on that. They never pun actually punish evildoers after all. That is not true. They do I understand why Yukina is saying that, but because of what happened with his father. But no, that's not true. They do punish evildoers. They do. I know he's calling out the virtue signalers, but that's not true. Nothing is as, nothing is concrete. But but um, so like Yukina is kind of contradicting himself. Let's be real. He is kind of contradicting himself. But um, but then there's this. What what father said. And you came to answer to this. You want to try reforming the world then with your divine judgment. No, people pass judgment on each other. Also, don't treat me like a god. He doesn't want to be a god. And he said, and, um, and then you have what, um, the, what, 
again, what he said, right? He, Father said right here, is heaven right or wrong? Hagusa knows the answer. They're wrong. They just don't realize it yet. I don't. I, again, I don't agree with that. I don't think. I don't think we know the answer. There's no such thing as uh, in this kind of situation, in this setting. I don't think there's a right or wrong in this, like a set, like concrete right or wrong. There isn't, because, um, because nobody's perfect. Sometimes they're sometimes you're right. Sometimes you're wrong. Nobody's right all the time. Nobody's wrong all the time. I'm just saying, it just depends on the situation. At least that's my opinion. I'm very curious what you guys think. I really, really love this writing. I do. I love the direction of this manga. I love that virtue signaling is being called out. I love hypocrisy is being called out. But at the same time, you do have a little bit of contradiction going on with, um, with father in particular. There's a lot of contradiction. And with, to an extent, you keen. Um, he kind of contradicted himself to an extent, but in Yukin's case, I can kind of understand it because of what went down with his father. Um, but the thing, but we don't know, but we also don't know everything that went down with his father. Um, the other thing that I'm curious about though, are the gods going to come after Yukin or not? That's the real question. Part of me wants to say yes, but the other part of me wants to say no because I don't think Yukin is really, really doing anything wrong. I don't. Um, like, my, the vandalizing of the car, that's one thing. Vandalizing the car, that's, that's kind of one thing. But, like, everything else that's going on um, that we've seen so far... No, that's minor shit. But if it goes too far, where we're crossing, like, illegal, the illegal lines, yeah, that's kind of a problem. But I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Norigami content, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.